Welcome to the new video, let's talk about the tips for washing shower curtain. To wash a shower curtain, you'll need to gather a few materials before you begin. Here's a list of what you'll need. Shower curtain. The first and most obvious thing you'll need is the shower curtain itself. Make sure to select the shower curtain that you want to wash, as you'll need to tailor your cleaning method to the specific material of the curtain. Laundry detergent. You'll also need some laundry detergent to help clean the shower curtain. Choose a detergent that is safe for the material of your shower curtain and follow the instructions on the bottle for the recommended amount to use. Bucket or tub. You'll need a large bucket or tub to hold the water and detergent for washing the shower curtain. Make sure the bucket or tub is large enough to hold the entire shower curtain, as you'll need to be able to fully submerge the curtain in the water. Scrub brush or sponge. To scrub the shower curtain clean, you'll need a scrub brush or sponge. Choose a brush or sponge with a texture that is safe for the material of your shower curtain. You may also want to consider using a shower curtain liner, which can help protect the curtain and keep it clean. To remove a shower curtain from the rod, you'll need to open the hooks or rings that are holding it in place and then lift it off the rod open the hooks or rings. Most shower curtains are held in place on the rod using hooks or rings that are attached to the top of the curtain to remove the curtain. You'll need to open these hooks or rings so that they are no longer holding the curtain in place lift the curtain off the rod. Once the hooks or rings are open, you should be able to lift the shower curtain off the rod. Be careful not to snag the curtain on any protrusions or sharp edges as you lift it off, close any hooks or rings. After you have removed the shower curtain from the rod, it's a good idea to close any hooks or rings that are still open. This will prevent them from snagging on anything as you move the curtain or store it. Fold the curtain neatly. Once the curtain is off the rod and all of the hooks or rings are closed, you can fold the curtain neatly to store it or transport it. Make sure to smooth out any wrinkles or creases as you fold the curtain to prevent them from setting in. To pre-treat stains on your shower curtain, you'll need to take some steps before washing it to help remove the stains. Here are some steps you can follow identify the type of stain you are dealing with. The first step in pre-treating a stain is to identify what type of stain it is. Different types of stains require different treatment methods, so it's important to know what you are dealing with. Some common types of stains that may appear on a shower curtain include soap scum, mildew, and rust. Choose a cleaning product that is appropriate for the type of stain. Once you know what type of stain you are dealing with, select a cleaning product that is specifically designed to remove that type of stain. For example, if you are dealing with a soap scum stain, you might choose a cleaner that is specifically formulated to remove soap scum. Apply the cleaning product to the stain, follow the instructions on the cleaning product to apply it to the stain. Make sure to cover the entire stain, and be generous with the amount of cleaner you use. Let the cleaning product sit for a few minutes, after applying the cleaning product, let it sit on the stain for a few minutes to allow it time to work. This will give the cleaner time to penetrate the stain and loosen it up, making it easier to remove. Rinse the cleaning product off. Once the cleaner has had a chance to work on the stain, rinse it off thoroughly. Make sure to remove all traces of the cleaning product to avoid leaving any residue behind. Wash the shower curtain as normal. Once the stain has been pre-treated, you can proceed with washing the shower curtain as normal. Follow the steps you normally use to wash the curtain and make sure to rinse it thoroughly to remove any soap or cleaning product residue. If you choose to wash your shower curtain in a washing machine, you can follow these steps. Place the shower curtain in the machine with a couple of bath towels to help scrub it clean. The towels will help to scrub the shower curtain and absorb any excess water. Add laundry detergent and set the machine to a gentle cycle. Use a good quality laundry detergent and set the machine to a gentle cycle to help protect the shower curtain and prevent it from getting damaged. Run the machine and let the shower curtain go through a full wash and rinse cycle. Let the machine complete a full wash and rinse cycle to ensure that the shower curtain is thoroughly cleaned. By following these steps, you can effectively wash your shower curtain in a washing machine. If washing by hand, fill a bucket or tub with warm water and add laundry detergent. Start by filling a large bucket or tub with warm water. The water should be warm, but not hot 
as hot water can cause the shower curtain to shrink or become discolored. Once the water is the right temperature, add a small amount of laundry detergent to the water. Use a detergent that is safe for the material of your shower curtain. Submerge the shower curtain in the water and use a scrub brush or sponge to scrub it clean. Once the water and detergent are mixed together, submerge the shower curtain in the water and use a scrub brush or sponge to scrub the curtain clean. Pay particular attention to any areas that are particularly dirty or have soap scum. Scrub the curtain thoroughly to remove any dirt or grime. Rinse the shower curtain thoroughly under running water. After scrubbing the shower curtain clean, rinse it thoroughly under running water to remove all of the soap and dirt. Make sure to rinse the curtain thoroughly to ensure that no soap residue is left behind. Once the shower curtain is clean and rinsed, it's ready to be hung up to dry. Dry the shower curtain Hang the shower curtain back up on the rod and open the hooks or rings to allow it to drip dry. One way to dry your shower curtain is to hang it back up on the shower rod and open the hooks or rings to allow it to drip dry. This is a good option if you don't want to put the shower curtain in the dryer or if you don't have enough space to lay it flat to air dry. To do this, simply reattach the shower curtain to the rod using the hooks or rings and then open them up to allow any excess water to drip out. B. Alternatively, you can machine dry the shower curtain on a low heat setting. If you want to machine dry your shower curtain, you can put it in the dryer on a low heat setting. Make sure to check the care label on your shower curtain to see if it is safe to machine dry as some materials may shrink or become damaged in the dryer. If it is safe to machine dry, use a low heat setting to avoid damaging the shower curtain. C. Lay it flat to air dry. Another option is to lay the shower curtain flat to air dry. This is a good option if you don't want to machine dry the curtain or if you don't have enough space to hang it up to drip dry. To do this, simply find a flat surface where you can lay the shower curtain out to dry. Make sure to smooth out any wrinkles or creases as it dries to prevent them from setting in. To prevent the buildup of soap scum and mildew, regularly wipe down the inside of the shower curtain with a mixture of water and vinegar. One way to prevent the buildup of soap scum and mildew on your shower curtain is to regularly wipe down the inside of the curtain with a mixture of water and vinegar. To do this, mix equal parts water and vinegar in a spray bottle and shake well to combine. Then, spray the mixture on the inside of the shower curtain and use a cloth or sponge to wipe it down. The vinegar will help to kill any mold or mildew that may be growing on the curtain, and it will also help to remove soap scum. B. Wash the shower curtain every 3-4 to four months or as needed to keep it clean and fresh. It's a good idea to wash your shower curtain every 3-4 to four months to keep it clean and fresh. If you use your shower frequently or live in an area with hard water, you may need to wash your shower curtain more often. On the other hand, if you don't use your shower as often or live in an area with softer water, you may be able to go longer between washings. Keep an eye on your shower curtain and wash it as needed to keep it clean and fresh.